My name is Anthony Johnson and I'm an integrations engineer here at ZoomInfo. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to map to pick list values in your HubSpot CRM. Let me show you what I mean by that. Over in HubSpot, let's say for example, you want every time that ZoomInfo creates a contact, you want the lead status to say new, for example. Now, within the ZoomInfo database, we, as you can imagine, don't have those specific type of values such as new or old, and we don't have a lead status field, for example. And so how would we go about populating that particular field? Let me show you. So over in Zoom Info, we'll need to navigate to the admin portal. And we can do that by clicking on these nine dots in the upper right hand corner, selecting the admin portal from the options there. Once this loads on the left hand side, we want to choose integrations. And then we want to navigate to the HubSpot tile. We want to click on the word manage. We want to choose the mapping tab here at the top. And since we're working with the contact, we want to make sure that we're on the contact object when we're in the mapping. Now, if we scroll down to the very bottom of the listing here, we'll have an option to add on an additional field. So starting as I like to do on the HubSpot side, I'm going to select the field in which we want to map to. And so in this example, it's going to be the lead status. Go ahead and select that. And then on the left hand side, as I mentioned before, there is not a lead status field within the zoom info database, uh, nor is there anything that can come over that says now are new, excuse me, are old, for example. And so what we need to utilize here is the fixed value. And so in this example, the fixed value was new. Now with HubSpot and HubSpot specifically, there's a little bit of a nuance here. We can't just come in here and type in the word new and expect the integration to work properly. In HubSpot, they require for the integration to choose or to send over what's called an internal value. And so let me show you what I mean by that. We jump over to HubSpot. We'll need to go to your setup or your settings, excuse me. And then on the left-hand side, from the object option on the left hand side, you want to choose contacts. Once again, since we are working with a contact and we want to click on the manage contact properties. Once here, we want to search and find the lead status. So we can just do that by typing in it here and selecting the lead status. Now, as you can see here with this uh, back end of that pick list, there are two values. We have what is shown to the public and we have the internal value. And right there, as you can see, is a capital N, capital E and capital W. So we need to make sure to do that exactly the same in our mapping within Zoom Info. So let me show you what I mean by that. So jumping back over to your Zoom Info platform within the field mapping, identifying the lead status option here. On the Zoom Info side, we wanna make sure we do it capital N E W and click the arrow to the right. By clicking the arrow on the right, we go ahead and lock in that particular value. And you can see that in place here in the, in the list of examples. And then you want to go ahead and click save. And you want to click save after adding any field. Uh, that way, if there's any issues in the future, it's much easier to troubleshoot that when you're able to do it one at a time as opposed to multiples. After saving that, we want to go ahead and click on your test mapping. Let's go ahead and test the field mapping and make sure it's legit. Perfect. And that's that. Everything is set up. Now, every time your users export a contact, the word new, as we were showing here, from the lead status will be chosen. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at integration support at zoominfo.com and have a great day.